Ah, here we go. Ah, welcome back, everybody. Uh, hopefully the sound is a little better now because, well, as you can see, I've got a mic. Um, and it should be working properly. I uh, just tested it, and it worked all the way down to the end of my house and back, so this should be just fine, being only maybe five, six feet from the camera. But anyways, so we're back here with Stitch, and actually a little bit of an update. Uh, you guys might be able to tell if you've seen my other video where I showed kind of an issue with the back. Well, it's got the new springs in it, so now she sits a lot higher. And honestly, it's damn near level, so it's quite nice that way, you know. I, I don't mind having a bit of a rake in the back, but like if it was a, uh, you know, going like that, kind of like the Carolina squat that you see on trucks. No, I'm not doing that. that that's just dumb. Um, yeah, hopefully the sound quality out of this thing is actually decent because I didn't pay a lot of money for it. But uh, yeah, anyways, and also, um, you can tell I've got the louvers back, which um, these are the plastic ones. Uh, the metal ones haven't been made yet. I need to find a back window for a notch back. So if you have one in Alberta, please contact me. Um, you know, I'll pay you a, a decent amount for it. Or if you have an entire car that's just wrecked, I will take that as well. Just depending on where you are. Um, closest sundry the better, but I will travel a little bit for that because I'm really anxious to get these aluminum louvers made from uh, Greg Henry out in uh, Calgary. Um, he makes, honestly, a bunch of different louvers. He makes, uh, and he actually makes K-members too. Um, he did make, like, I know he has a Monza, and he has louvers for that. He also makes louvers for Vegas as well. And, you know, I've convinced him that there is a market on these because just on my video that I did, I found that there was, oh, I don't know, quite a few uh, people, actually, that have been looking for a set of louvers for a long time. So actually, these ones, I'm not keeping these plastic ones, so if you want them, I just kind of set them up here so that you can see how they look, which, actually, let's walk around the car here and show you how they look. Because you can see here, all right, they look damn good on there, right? Um, I do have the uh, the actual mounting clips and everything that's that'll come with it. Don't worry about that. You know, just like it's damn sexy. You know, I've been tempted to kind of just mount them on myself and drive them till I ha and drive it till I have the aluminum ones and sell these. But to be honest, I could use the money right now. Um, at this point in time. You know, and actually you can see, okay, like, look at how much taller it is in the rear, right? And compared to the front, it's pretty level, actually. It might be a little higher in the back, which I'm okay with. Um, but then we take a look at the... this side. A little hard to get in here, but... You know, where it rubbed here? It's definitely sitting a lot higher now, so it's not gonna rub at all. Um, we already kind of tested that a little bit. Just was pretty much bouncing on the damn thing. And as well, my rear bumper... It wasn't sitting quite right because it was, uh, you know, it wasn't properly mounted. Well, now it's got all the nuts in it and everything. It won't, you know, it's not going to move at all. Right, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in those louvers. You can contact me from one of... Well, three places, actually, because if you look in my bio on here, you'll see my email. Uh, you can contact me there. We can chat. Uh, you can also contact me via Facebook, on which is Katarina's.Garage, or on Instagram, which is... Or, no, sorry. Instagram is Katarina's.Garage, and Facebook is Katarina's Garage. Sorry, I'm a little tired, guys. It's been uh, one of those days, just quite a bit of running around and stuff, and, you know how that goes um yeah and i've been pretty much go 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 today just you know non-stop lately and that's why like there's a dealership that's opening up around the corner i want to actually apply there but at the same time it's like with the covid situation i'm just i'm nervous because if i got it with my asthma i'd be screwed i really would be so i i, I kind of want to wait until covid is over for me to or at least on a much like on a complete downhill because with my asthma uh the way it is 
I don't like my chances of when I, if I got COVID, that it would be a very good thing for me. I'd probably be in the ICU and it wouldn't be pretty. So, uh, yeah. Um, other than that, you know, it's just, I got to be careful, right? Compared to most people where if they got COVID, it's probably not a big deal. They're just going to be sick for maybe about a week and then they're fine. Uh, with me, I rarely ever get sick, and when I do, it hits me hard. Um, that's because of my, oddly enough, because of my asthma, I have bronchial asthma, and there is stuff that's stuck to my lungs, actually, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, you know, like, inhalers only do so much, and no matter how many puffs of an inhaler I can take or anything like that, it's not going to actually strengthen the lung. Um, but because of that stuff that's stuck in my lung, it's actually, I have a better immune system. So that's why I rarely get sick, you know. I get sick once every maybe couple of years, and then it kicks my ass pretty hard, actually. But uh, compared to most people where, you know, if they do get sick, it's like once every flu season, basically. But for me, it's two, three years. And it's usually not during flu season, either. It's usually like during the summer, and it's just annoying. So... <sighs> Yeah, one of those annoying things, but oh well. Um, yeah, and also, a little update too, because you guys know about the control arm uh, bushing. You guys could hear it, actually, if you go watch my Point of View 7 video, where I drive out to uh, Davidson Park near Bergen, and I tested out my new uh, dash mount, which is not currently mounted right now. Um, it's pretty nice, actually, to take it off and, and not compared to the other one and that where it's just permanently in place so yeah it's just one of those deals and this one even though it's smaller it seems like it, it takes up more space which i mean if you want to actually see well hell I, I can grab it just the box um well screw it actually um I won't grab the box. I'll actually show you guys. This is my new little uh, dash mount, but also it mounts to the windshield too. Right? There is an adapter that uh, it sticks right to your dash with 3M tape. And then you can immediately connect this, and it's got a nice little locking mechanism here. Right? And you can see that action. It's a pretty nice little piece, actually. I, I like the quality of it. It's quite compact. I can hide it if I need to. It's quite nice that way. So, uh, yeah, no. Um... Well, other than that, ah, it's so weird. Just feeling this mic sitting here. It's it's bizarre. I want to move it, but I, I just want to make sure I'm testing different uh, mic positions to see what will work best for this. So, um, yeah, anyways, this is a little update video as well. And if you're interested in those louvers, uh, they are for sale for 400 Canadian. That does not include shipping. Um, now, I am open to offers on that, or if you have trades, I will consider trades as well. But bear in mind, trades have to be done hand-to-hand. -hand. I am not doing a trade and then having you ship me something. It's just not going to work out that way. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, I'm looking for the notch back window, rear window, and also, if you're in Alberta and you happen to have an 8.8 rear end with, like, 3.73s, I would be interested in that. Um... And, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Ah, God, I'm all over the place today. I'm sorry, guys. It, it, this is not usually me. I'm usually a little more focused on this, but I don't know. My ADD is just going boom, 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 boom today. It's sad. But, uh, anyways, um, yeah, before I keep rambling on, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, please uh, give it a like. Uh, comment down below what you might want to see or if you have any... Um, questions about anything to be honest you know you let me know there or again you can contact me at kenarinas.garage on instagram or my facebook page which is kenarinas garage and as well in my bio you can um you can email me as well and yeah other than that you know i will uh um hope you guys are staying safe during covid19 good luck with whatever you're working on and as well if i can film uh your vehicle or if you have a collection of vehicles that i can film please let me know because i would love to do more content that's different too because you know 
I know my, my most of my viewers want to see this. But doesn't mean I don't want to branch out and like for example do some tuner stuff, do some Euro stuff too. Like you have an old school Volkswagen or something like that, or you know, you got a Japanese import or whatever it is, or even a Kia Stinger or something, right? Something is different. And the thing is the quirkier it is, the more I like it. Um sorry, I touched the mic there. Hopefully that didn't disrupt that too much. Um yeah, like, you know, if you have any old AMCs or anything like that, too, that's, like, my niche is AMCs. I love AMCs and just about every single one, other than the third-generation Ambassador with that weird front end that kind of went like that with the grill. It was just, what were they thinking? I don't know. But uh, AMC in a nutshell. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye! We get you! Ah...